Hi, I'm Trey Sampali from TUGRASS and I'm happy to present our work Key Point Transformer Solving Joint Identification in Challenging Hands and Object Interactions for Accurate 3D Pose Estimation. This work was carried out jointly with Sayandeb Sarkar and Madhi Rad and was supervised by Vincent Lepetit. We designed an efficient architecture called Key Point Transformer to estimate the 3D pose of hands and object during close interactions. Our network, trained in a fully supervised manner, is quite general and supports multiple scenarios such as hand-hand interactions and hand-object interactions. To train our network on two hands and an object interaction scenario, we also propose a new dataset, H2O3D, containing 3D pose annotations of two hands and an object during interaction. The annotations are obtained using a fully automatic annotation method proposed in our previous work, Honotate. We will start by quickly reviewing existing works to motivate our own approach. Using per joint heat maps has been shown to result in better accuracy than other approaches, however they have many limitations. Due to apparent similarity of the fingers, the heat maps tend to confuse the joint locations leading to inaccurate poses during very close interactions. In cases of severe occlusion of the joints by other hand or from the same hand, the regress heat maps can be ambiguous, further affecting the quality of the poses. Our conclusion is that trying to simultaneously localizing and recognizing each joint with heat maps is very challenging and is prone to failures in complex scenarios. Our approach to tackle this problem is to separate the underlying tasks. We first estimate the potential locations of the key points by regressing a single channel heat map using an UNET architecture. The key point locations are local maxima of this heat map and can contain many false positives and false negatives. In the second stage, we associate the detected key points with corresponding joint locations or to a background class in case of false positives. As the number of detected key points varies from image to image, we employ self-attential layers that accept variable number of inputs and also builds a global context of the features that is necessary to classify the key points. In the post-regression stage, we learn query embeddings specific to each joint. These embeddings encode the identity of the joint and are used to match the key points whose identity matches with the query. The CNN image features at the match key point locations are then used to regress the posts of the joint. This task is realized using a cross-attention layer. Our architecture learns all the tasks in an end-to-end -end fashion. We now show the detailed architecture. The key points obtained from the single channel heat map using an UNET are encoded using appearance and spatial embeddings. The encoded key points are provided to the self-attention module that performs key point joint association. In the last stage, a learned joint query for each joint is provided to a cross-attention layer which soft selects the key points whose identity closely matches the query and uses the key point features to regress the joint pose. The pose is obtained for each joint separately. While the complete network is trained end-to-end, -end, we also provide supervision after each stage. We can estimate the pose using multiple representations as we use the image features from the joint location to estimate the pose. We show that our framework also facilitates estimation of the pose of the object during hand-object interactions. This is achieved using object key points which are randomly sample locations on the segmentation map of the object. Sufficiently large number of object key points encodes the appearance of the object and enables pose estimation. During the key point localization stage, we also estimate the object segmentation map from which the object key points are sampled and encoded. In the next stage, the object key points are associated with a new object class. This makes the key points identity aware. In the last stage, we learn two additional queries for the object rotation and translation estimation and use them to obtain the key points necessary to estimate the object pose. We analyze the key points selected by different joint queries by visualizing the cross-attention weights. When the joint is visible and not occluded such as the left index DIP and MCP joint shown here, the key points at the corresponding joint locations are selected for pose estimation. The radius of the red circle corresponds to the magnitude of the cross-attention weight. When the joint is occluded such as the DIP joints shown here, we observe that multiple key points around the occluded joints are selected, resulting in a global feature for pose estimation. When a joint becomes visible, again such as the MCP joint shown here, the corresponding key point is selected resulting in a more localized feature for pose estimation. During object pose prediction, the attention maps corresponding to the object rotation query shows that most object key points are selected while leaving out the hand key points. When estimating the object translation related to the right hand using the object translation query, both the hand and object key points are selected as they are both relevant. Our qualitative results show high degree of accuracy during clo closely interacting hands pose estimation and reasonable results on the more complicated task of two hands and an object pose estimation. Quantitative results on Hinterhand 2.6M and HO3D datasets using the mean per joint position error show that our method outperforms previous methods by a large margin. Computing architectures are larger in size owing to estimation of per joint 3D heat maps or part segmentation maps. 
Thank you for your kind attention and we request you to refer our paper for more details.